Hello, this is Dr. Oz. Today I would like to talk about <coughs> a problem that we solved before. Uh, it's Ohio bank location problem. Just to recap, we have 20 locations in this uh, problem in Ohio, and our bank would like to penetrate into all those regions. However, we don't want to invest so much money and put basically a fiscal in every single county, but instead we want to pick and choose. Um, and for example, if I choose location A, that will only cover the ones with the number one. So in other words, that would cover, as you see, Ashland, Wayne, Medina, Summit, Stark, and Holmes, but nothing else. So I want to choose my combination in a way that will maximize, uh, sorry, minimize my number of uh, facility locations, but still I cover everything. That's why in this problem, we say that um, I would like sum of all my decision variables. Again, I have a separate video for how to build this, if you wanna go back to that. In this problem, I would like to find alternative solution to this problem. And currently, I decided to go with three locations, Ashland, uh, Stark, and Gayuga, nothing else. And that will satisfy all my 20 constraints here, as you see. So what I would like to do in this video though, uh, I would like to generate an alternative solution to this. So can I get a solution that will give me same objective or at least not too bad, like it can be, if, if it cannot find the same, which is three, minimum three, uh, I don't wanna spend still 20 or eight or seven. So I wanna have as low as possible. And I want to find alternative solution to this. Why? Because maybe government doesn't like us to be in Ashland or Bayuga or whatever, or maybe my management wants to be in some other locations. Maybe I have some deals, whatever it might be, or I want to maybe have my increase my robustness. So I want to generate an alternative solution to this. All right. So to do that, I need to add another constraint, which is I'm going to call it alternative solution constraint. And here. Uh, I would like to uh, I would like to have um, the following relationship. Let's start with this time left hand side. Although I like this starting in general right hand side, it's kind of a special kind of constraint generating alternative solution. So what I would like to do is I would like to sum all my current open locations values: Ashland, Stark, and Gayuga. Currently, obviously, this is three. And I would like to subtract all my location, possible locations that I haven't picked, the sum of those zeros currently. Highlight these, control, highlight these, control, highlight these, close my parentheses, like remaining 17 decision variables. Obviously they have 17 times zero is zero, three times one is one, three minus zero is obviously three. So I would like this value, I want Excel Solver to change this value in a way that it's not gonna be three anymore. It's gonna be less than three. Obviously it cannot be greater than three because Excel it can change these values from ones to zeros or zeros to ones. But currently I have three ones that are adding value positive coefficients. I mean, they cannot, even if they are all open, I will have some of these non-open ones are open. So basically the ratio, the maximum value that I can get in this case is uh, three. So, but I don't want to have three. I want to have less than three, less than or equal to, uh, uh, less than or equal to three minus one, which is two, All right? So that's what I want to do. Once I run the model, you will see what I'm, what I'm trying to accomplish here. So this constraint should force my model to find alternative solution to this in a way that will still minimize my objective, which is number minimize number of locations chosen without choosing exact same combination. Okay, so that's that's the trick here. So let's see let's see what's what's gonna happen here. Uh, running this model, I'll just add this last constraint. So data. If you don't have again solver file. Options, add-ins, analysis tool pack, go, make sure solve add is checked, click OK, that may take a couple minutes, and then go to data, and then you will see now solver. 
let me just clear everything here and do this again, reset all. So my objective is again green cell. I'm trying to minimize the value of that green cell by changing my yellow cells, which are 20 of those, zero, one bad values. Um, and I would like to add my constraints. I wanna make sure that all these values are greater than or equal to the right-hand side values, which are ones, which means I need to cover those locations with at least one adjacent bank location that I pick. Click add. And I wanna make sure that my uh, decision variables are binary. I like those yellow cells, BIN, add, and make sure my new constraint is satisfied, which is forcing alternative solution is less than or equal to the right-hand side value of two. And I click OK. And still I'm using simplex linear program, solve the problem. Perfect, I got the optimal solution. Guess what? I cannot get three anymore. Now I have to spend extra money to launch a new place. So now in my new solution, I will have four locations, and these are Ashland, Summit, Stark, and Gayuga. And if I do that, basically all my constraints are satisfied, and this is a different solution than before. So it looks like the previous solution that gave me three locations was the unique optimal solution. So there was no alternative solution that gave the same uh, value. Let me just go beyond this. So let me just create alternative solution to this alternative solution, so alternative of the alternative. Sounds kind of confusing. Um, so currently I have four values, but I don't wanna have those four. I wanna have only maximum three of those current four. So four minus one. Again, I wanna have less than or equal to. And my current ones, sum these values minus my current zeros. I hope this makes sense. Please think about this because this, this relationship may make some, take some time to grasp. So I wanna make sure that um, I'm forcing my zeros to be one and ones to be zero. So let's see, there's an there's a error here quickly. Uh, I forgot to put some. All right, that's not a big deal. So let me just delete this. So add the ones minus sum of my zeros. Control, highlight these zeros. Control, highlight these zeros. Control, highlight these zeros. All right. So obviously currently this value is four, but I don't want that to be four. I want that to be three or less, which means I wanna, I'm want i forcing my model to have an alternative solution. Again, I click on green cell, data, solver, so the question might might you you might have is should I delete the first alternative solution? No, because uh, that could lead to problem of going back to the same old solution. I will keep everything the same, but I will just add a new constraint. Click add. I want this left hand side value to be less than or equal to this right hand side value. Click OK, and let's solve this problem. Perfect. And as you see, I found an alternative solution with exact same objective. I only invest in four locations, but this time, not the same four. Still Ashland is there, but as you see here, Summit and Stark is not there anymore. Gayuga is still there, but I, instead of investing in Summit and Stark, I start investing in Colombiana and Holmes so that uh, it's an alternative solution that gives me still four. So you could keep doing this over and over again to generate alternative solutions. That's it for this video. Until next video, enjoy business analytics.